Hey guys, Ed Bud here and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. You won't be disappointed. Hopefully not. So this week, it's been a real stretch trying to get some miles in, in preparation for the immortal sport Salisbury Half Marathon. A busy work week and small person supervision has meant that I've had to get some miles in, sometimes at some unsociable hours. There's been nothing for it. This week, I have had to become the Night Runner. So steady miles, seven in total at roughly seven minutes 30 per mile target. Managed to meet that around about seven minutes 29 seconds per mile, so just under, which was fantastic. Taking me roughly 52 minutes 30 seconds, so absolutely spot on in terms of the target time and also the target mile pace as well. Had to head out really, really late pitch black outside so um, got my Petzl head torch out again really love this thing three different settings it's a really superb piece of kit and it didn't really cost me all that much money as well I think at the time I bought it it was around about 24 pounds and includes that rechargeable battery but I'll talk about that a little bit later on so a really fantastic run in these great shoes I'm really enjoying these as I'm starting to plow some more miles into them the Hoka Oni Oni Carbon X they were ideal for those steady miles. I just really felt the shoe throwing me forward despite having a really busy time at work that day. It been, it's been a tough time, I've got to be honest, the last couple of weeks. It's been really tough getting the miles in. I've been having to do it where I can. Uh, but these shoes really helped out. Very, very impressed with these thus far. So it was pitch black out on the country trail uh, around the back of my place. I'm really lucky. I'm really blessed to have such a fantastic trail. I say trail, it's, it's mainly compressed kind of stone and some pavement, not really asphalt. It's, it's more a sort of concrete sort of pavement back behind the house. So I can follow that nice and straight, not a lot of elevation there as well, but it was pitch black out there. Couldn't really see anything at all. Glad I had the head torch with me. Lots of bats flapping around, swooping about and very eerie sounds as I was flying past the foliage. I could hear some sort of cracking of kind of sticks, um, some movement rustling in the trees. I thought Bilotti was gonna pop out at one point, um, you know, rustling about in there. But uh, fortunately had the head torch, so it was illuminating my way. Managed to make it past a few sort of pub goers and things like that. But certainly a little bit scary at times out there all alone in the wilderness. Managed to pick up a little bit of elevation on my ascent back into the town and then out again from the town centre on the very east side. Kept the cadence up to around about 170 steps per minute, which is very typical for me for this type of run, especially considering the long throw of my giraffe-like legs. That, that, that was a joke there. 
Hopefully you'll all understand that that was a joke. I think my legs look a little bit better than they used to, slightly more muscly than they used to, certainly. So as I mentioned, I use my Petzl Actic Core headlamp. Three settings, um, it does come with a battery, so I was able to recharge that quickly before I went out. I think I gave it like a half an hour charge. It just uses a um, smaller USB connection. You can just plug it into a phone charger or some sort of wall charger and it's fantastic. If you can see people kind of coming towards you, if there's some pedestrians or something, you can just quickly flick it back to the lower setting so you don't kind of blind them. You know, because if someone's running towards you with this, you, you, you're, you're just blinded by it. So you can quickly flick it back to the lower setting just with a couple of button presses and uh, you're not gonna blind them too much. I've used this torch in some wet weather, no reliability problems whatsoever. It's stood up to the test really well thus far. I do kind of like the fit as well. It does really stay where you position it. It doesn't move around too much. You know, when you're running, you can kind of be bobbing around a little bit. Certainly if you're doing some trail based work, you know, you could be all over the place with your head but certainly this tends to stay wherever you position it, which is a real boon for this type of product. So certainly impressive in terms of the amount of light it produces. I'll try and throw some stats up on the screen as to the three settings and what types of light it produces. Impressed with reliability, speed of charge, and the fit. So do check this one out, it's the Actic Core from Petzl. So the Night Runner headed out once again the following evening for another seven miles, this time with four miles of fartlek encased within that seven miles. So 1.5 miles warm up, 1.5 miles warm down, roughly at that seven minutes, 30 seconds per mile pace. So I varied that speed during that four mile section with an average of seven minutes, four seconds per mile. And again, those miles flew by really quickly, really pleasantly in the Hoka Oni Oni Carbon X. I can say to you safely, good friends and buddies, that this shoe has been superb for me the last couple of runs. I'm really looking forward to putting a long run into these over the weekend. I think on the cards is around about 13 miles at seven minutes 30 per mile, or is it seven minutes 45 per mile? One of the two, we'll see where we end up. This shoe really does fly. I'm really enjoying running in it. I think I'm going to have to do some sort of comparison video between this and the Vaporfly Next Percent. I found that the wider surface area on the bottom of the Carbon X really does work out well if you're a runner and you have limited visibility as I have over the last couple of runs. When your depth of field is a little bit more limited in the dark, you don't have to kind of be so careful about where you're placing your foot with this type of shoe, certainly with this kind of width here, as you would do in the Vaporfly 4% or the Next Percent. You just feel a lot more sure-footed. I'm starting to feel the foam mellowing out in this shoe now, and the Han Solo Carbonite is really coming through in the midsole. I, I, I mean that in a good way, it's not actually coming through the midsole, it's just really coming through, you know? Do you get my meaning? That side, I could feel that forked section of the carbon fiber plate, really guiding my big toe as I was kind of placing my foot on the ground and then towing off. A really fantastic sensation of speed and of propulsion. My only reservation thus far with the Carbon X is the incredibly long laces that Hoka have included in this shoe. They could have chopped them down a little bit, maybe even saved a few grams of weight. Really splitting hairs now, isn't it? You know putting this shoe down for the length of its laces. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, you are perfection to me, you are, really are. I'm really liking this shoe. And it stands out well against this orange background, don't you think? So, very, very impressed with this shoe. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to get to 100 miles in it very, very quickly because I want to wear it all the time. So stay tuned for that 100 mile review coming up probably within the next 10 days. So you will see some new angles and some new shots and some new kind of shooting styles from me with the GoPro over the next few days as I have invested in this new Insta360 selfie stick which is incredibly long, it's crazy long and I'm really quite impressed with the weight of it. It's not too heavy and it also could help me out to fight crime uh, should I encounter any in the dark. No, I, I wouldn't do that guys, obviously. This is a selfie stick. I'm just clearly joking. 
um, it, it probably isn't going to be any use for fighting crime whatsoever. I could record the crimes, I guess, if something happened on the GoPro. Really fantastic telescopic selfie stick apparatus pole. So it certainly should give you guys some new angles to peruse and enjoy. Daisy, Oliver and I tested out the stick earlier on today and it resulted in extreme hilarity. There was great fun and laughter ensuing after we utilized this new selfie stick today with the GoPro 7. Daisy used the Pegasus 35s today, a really nice colorway. Um, you can guess who got those for her. She did comment that they feel very bouncy, very soft and excellent for running up hills with an excited dog. So we march ever closer to that 1,000 subscribers, which I set as a goal a little while ago. I will be having a very special giveaway around about the time I reach 900 subscribers. I'll fill you in on that very, very soon. It's time for me to sign off now, guys. Please hit that subscribe button. I think it's in this corner. Over there somewhere, maybe. Click that bell for notifications. Do comment below if you are also a night runner. Hit that like button. My name's Ed Bird, and I'll be seeing you.